Moving on up. to our Jacksonville Jaguar family here. Uh, it's quiet right now, and we kind of get like a little, we gave him a little preseason, pre off season grade, and I was kind of hesitant on it. And now it seems like it's getting quieter. Not much is going on. Calais Campbell decided to sign with the Atlanta Falcons today for a one year deal. Little little kind of confused. We don't have the details on how much he's getting paid. Um, I think this would have been a big pickup for the Jags. We talked about this in a, in a separate video. I think his leadership would have been huge. Now, if he's going to Atlanta to get $10 million, no bueno, right? Where's the line? I don't, I don't know. But for him going to Atlanta at the time of his career where he's at, you and I were talking about this, just doesn't seem right. Yeah, so one of the things that you look, obviously he's been a staple here. I mean, he's the mayor. He's he's he was like the man of the year uh in Jacksonville, if I'm not mistaken, or something to that level. But he was extremely involved in the Jacksonville community. He was very, very well received. He was everybody loved him here. Um obviously he made the move to Baltimore and it felt like that was a business move, that was a roster move, that was a him trying to take the next step in his career move, all those things. We all still love Calais Campbell. And look, he came back, he visited. He left, he left Jacksonville without a, a, an official offer and said he was going to take a couple of visits. The, the tone that it kind of came from was that it looks like the last step in his career, which the guy's going to be 37 when we kick off uh, the NFL season, um, is that the next step in the thing that he was searching for was a Super Bowl. So it made sense why he would come to Jacksonville, give us the respect of a visit, maybe just see the coaches, maybe just see some of his old uh, his old teammates if there's anybody still left on the roster that he was buddies with, right? Um, or we would just come back to Jacksonville again. He was he was he was widely respected here. Um, but again, to to have the concept of he wants a Super Bowl, fine, we love that for you, Calais. We're not quite there. I don't think the Jaguars are there. We played well. We got very close. So I don't think we're a Super Bowl caliber team just yet. So it made sense why he would continue to take visits. However. <laughs> Less than 48 hours later, if you're signing a one-year deal with the Atlanta Falcons, it has absolutely nothing to do with wanting a Super Bowl. That team is not Super Bowl ready. That team is a decade potentially more <laughs> unless they can get a whole lot together quickly of being Super Bowl ready. So it's a little confusing for Jaguar fans. Again, it's all about money right at this point, especially at 37. How many more opportunities are you going to get to make money? Um, but again, it did odd move. We still love Calais. He's still the mayor. We call him that for a reason. You know, if anytime he wants to come back to Jacksonville, he'll get he'll get a, a, a you know a king's uh, invitation. Definitely, yeah, definitely has a home here. And again, I you expected that, that maybe going to the Buffalo or the Jets, Super Bowl bound team. This seems like a money grab, which is again interesting. I I don't think anybody can say, oh, well, the Falcons are rebuilding. They're no, they're 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 rebuilding. Yes, but they're not even close to being where they need to be. So. Uh, unfortunate. Look, but here's the thing that I want to say about this. Um, being a Braves fan, I remember the, the the year we lost in 2020 in the world to the NLCS to the Dodgers. That next going into that next season, I was like, we got to do big things, right? We're really good, really close, but we need to add a few more pieces. We got to go do this. We got to go do that. We didn't do jack shit. Okay, we didn't do a damn thing. Now during the the trade during the trade deadline, we made some trades, right? Which didn't seem like a lot. Just felt like kind of filling because we lost Ronald Acuna. We go on to win the World Series. The reason I, I ref, pre preference that is we don't know what the fuck we're doing, hence why we're behind the microphone, and hence why we sit here and talk about it, right? <laughs> so these guys know what they're, what, what they're doing. The GMs understand that. If, it, if the numbers don't make sense, they're not going to go out of their way. Would have Clay F. Campbell from a fan, fanatic standpoint made a lot of sense? Absolutely. But it's also you can't, you can't hang over and you can't get all lost about it. We went pretty far last year without him. Right, and we were really, really close. It could. It's as simple as just believing that you could have won that game, and we beat the Kansas City Chiefs. And who knows what happens from there? So I know as a Jags fan, and we want a lot of this to happen, but I think it's important to note that look, let the guys do what they, they got us there to that point last year. And again, we had the addition, obviously, of Christian Kirk. Do we really think the addition of Christian Kirk uplifted us to that to that level? No, I think Doug Peterson, the team clicking, is what allowed for those things to happen. Right. So I. It sucks. Because you like the reunion, but I think it, everything happens for a reason, and that's okay. Um, 